Hi, and welcome to Bloxy. Today, we're going to take a quick look at the WooCommerce features that Bloxy enables on your website. We'll discuss the general options for WooCommerce, basic product archives and single product layouting systems, and to extend the benefits by enabling the WooCommerce Extra Pro extension. Let's dive right in. We start off by going to our beloved Bloxy customizer and then to the WooCommerce options. General WooCommerce options. Under the general section, we find the important options that are related to your storefront. The first option, quantity input, will let you select between two simple design choices for the quantity selector on your single product page and will also let you choose the colors that represent this element. Next up, we have the sale batch customization options. Here we have the sale batch shape setting and the value selector, which displays the price reduction in a more general way or show the exact percentage. The star rating and messages sections lets you customize the colors of these elements. Under the account section, you have the options to display the logged in user's avatar on their account page, as well as the username with navigation quick links. As usual, color choices can be set within the design tab. With the checkout section, you can enable options such as the coupon form and highlighting required fields. Other options include to show or hide various optional fields, such as the company name, address line 2, and phone number, which comes in handy if you wish to streamline the checkout process. And of course, it wouldn't be complete without offering the proper privacy tools, which are required by law in most of the countries. These settings will let you easily set your privacy policy and terms and conditions pages. The products wishlist extension, part of our premium package, allows your visitors to add their favorite products to a wish list in case they would like to purchase them later or even share them with friends and family. There are a couple of options here which you can use to let your visitors access their wish list. A header element that you can freely place wherever you wish within the header section of your website or the wishlist section inside the My Account page. The Add to Wishlist button can be displayed on the product archive pages, the single product pages, or even the quick view modal box. With the final option, you can display the classic store notice message, informing your customers about anything important related to your web store. Product Archives. The Product Archives section determines how your main shop pages look. This set of options available here enables a broad range of customization patterns, which makes your website stand out from the rest of the competition. First, check out the shop settings area, which gives you two choices of product listing designs. Type 1 offers a classic view, which gives you alignment options for the information, while Type 2 groups everything into neat little boxes. The columns and rows setting allows you to choose how many products you wish to display on a single page. Diving deeper into the Carts options screen, you will find Image Ratio and Size options. This ensures you have a consistent look across your products. Hovering Effects lets you highlight your image when hovering over it with the mouse cursor. And last but not least, the ability to turn the star rating, sale badge, and product category display on or off. The Quick View option, which is part of our premium package, lets your visitors take a sneak peek at product details without navigating away from the page they are on. Content alignment and spacing options are also available and easy to use. We move back to the Page Elements section. In this section, you'll be able to show or hide various shop sorting elements. Instances such as shop sort and shop result count will let you display the basic WooCommerce product sorting options. Turning on the page sidebar is also easy to do with this little switch. Pagination settings will let you choose the type of navigation you wish to use for your pages, even offering infinite scrolling choices. The premium element of Canvas Filter will let you hide your store filtering settings behind a panel, which can be opened with a single click and it works exactly like the mobile menu. You can populate it with as many filtering widgets as you might want. 
This comes in really handy if you wish to have a super clean look for your pages. Single product. We cover the gallery and element options in this video for the single product section. If you want to check out the classic page layout options, there's a link in the description to a handy video explaining how these settings work. For our premium customers, we offer three more types of gallery options. Type 1 is the classic layout that you're already accustomed to and also present in the free version. Type 2 offers a beautiful full bleed featured image layout with the thumbnails at the bottom. Type 3 displays all product images in a beautiful grid on the left, while Type 4 displays the images in a stylish carousel at the top. As usual, there are gallery customization options which depend on the gallery type you've chosen. The product elements section lets you easily hide, show and even customize each element that appears on the page. You've got options for the title, price, the add to cart button, sale badge, star rating, product meta box and even the share box from which your visitors can share the products to their favorite social network. Page elements let you decide what you want to do with the standard sections of a WooCommerce product. You can show or hide the product information tabs and action upon the related and upsells section. Diving deeper inside the related and upsell section, you can find options to select how many products you wish to show and even display visibility on a per device basis case. The floating card element, which is part of our premium package, comes in really handy if you wish for your customer to always have access to the streamlined call to action section, including the product title and add to cart button. This section will appear when the classic product meta box disappears from view. For example, when the user scrolls down the page to interact with the other elements. One more little but noteworthy function we want to point out here. If you have a premium subscription, you'll also get a secondary option for your cart header element. It mimics the off canvas menu, which will let you have a consistent experience across your devices. That's pretty much it. We hope our brief look at the WooCommerce settings helps you to understand the choices you have available with Bloxy. As usual, we're constantly working on improving the experience and adding new features. And anytime you have any questions, feel free to contact us via our support system at creativethemes.com. Thank you and see you in the next video.